Greetings, language lovers and friends of culture. Today we embark on a linguistic journey through the beauty and history of one of the world's most melodious languages, Portuguese. The language of Camões, born in the west of the Iberian Peninsula, spread across Asia, Africa, and the Americas, wherever the Lusitanian people sailed, colonized, or emigrated. Don't go away, I'll tell you more. Hello, I'm Constantino de Miguel. Welcome to the Prime Group Vlog. Our journey begins in the 12th century in the northwestern quadrant of the Iberian Peninsula, where Galician Portuguese was spoken. This language emerged as an evolution of vulgar Latin, influenced also by Celtic and Germanic languages. Oino, oinos. Over time, a distinctive literary culture developed in Galician Portuguese in the form of lyrical poetry composed and recited by troubadours. With the political independence of the ancient Portocale from the kingdoms of Galicia and León in 1139, the Galician Portuguese language began to separate into two main branches, Galician and Portuguese. In Galicia, the language maintained a more regional status, although today it is co-official with Spanish in that autonomous community. In Galego, my father always me falou Galego, he was a un homem que, bueno, e é, está vivo, eh? Non vos preocupedes. Eh, que foi embarcado moitos anos, polo tanto xa el eh, tiña o galego moi sempre era, el sempre foi galego falante, pero o que é estar fora eso sempre emociona muitísimo máis. In Portugal, this language evolved and enriched, becoming standard Portuguese and first spreading towards the southwest of the Iberian Peninsula with the Reconquista against Arab rule and globally through the discoveries and colonization of large areas in Africa, Asia, and South America. Pronto, só sugeri outro nome, que é o Fernando Pessoa, que é um excelentíssimo poeta, que escreveu não só com o seu próprio nome, mas também com outros nomes, assumindo outras identidades, e é, é um marco da, da, da literatura portuguesa. As Portugal set sail for new worlds from the 15th century onwards, its language would anchor in distant shores. Portuguese is spoken today from the Atlantic islands of Capo Verde, Sao Tome and Principe, and the African coast of Guinea-Bissau, Angola and Mozambique, to the great Brazilian cities and the Amazon forests, from the beaches of Timor to the islands of Macau, also in the Indian enclave of Goa, or in parts of Sri Lanka, Malaysia and Indonesia. Portuguese emigration has taken its language to Canada, the United States, France, Venezuela, and South Africa. Portuguese is also predominant in Luxembourg and Andorra. Essa localização tem tudo a ver com a história das grandes navegações. Era exatamente deste ponto que as caravelas portuguesas partiam com direção ao oceano e aos novos territórios. Portuguese has influenced many Asian languages. In English, there are 38 words of Portuguese origin, such as marmalade, citrus jam, flamingo, or buffalo. And what about portuñol, a mix of Spanish and Portuguese spoken in border areas and improvised by speakers of both languages to understand each other? We must bear in mind that there is almost no barrier between Spanish and Portuguese. According to Ethnologue, there is an 89% lexical similarity between Portuguese and Spanish. As such, intelligibility is very high between both languages. In my family, we were learning to speak entreverado. We speak Portuguese. E o, o português, o brasileiro e o uruguaio junto. 
In any case, with around 230 million native speakers and between 25 and 30 million second language speakers, Portuguese is the sixth most spoken native language in the world and the third European language in terms of native speakers. And it is also the most used language in South America. Yes, you heard it right. In South America, it is spoken more than Spanish due to the population of Brazil, which adds up to 214 million Lusophone inhabitants. In Brazil, Portuguese not only thrives in big cities such as Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro, Salvador, etc., etc., but also penetrates the most remote places of the Amazon, and it's increasingly spoken by hundreds of indigenous tribes there. Portuguese is a language of contrast. It is found in the melancholic chords of Fado. In the lively rhythms of Samba. And in the verbal speed of Brazilian auctioneers, the fastest speakers in the world. Last but not least, Portuguese is a great literary language that accompanied the Portuguese expansion around the world. The writer Luis de Camões would narrate in Os Luisiades, published in 1572, the epic journey of Vasco da Gama to India. The influence of Camões on the Portuguese language and literature is so profound that the day of Portugal and of the Portuguese communities celebrated each year on June 10 has been chosen in commemoration of Camões' death date. Camões represents not only the history and identity of Portugal, but also the expansion of Portuguese as a global language. Speaking of contemporary writers in the Portuguese language, we must mention the existentialist poet Fernando Pessoa, Nobel Prize winner José Saramago, the essayist of self-awareness Paulo Coelho, the inspirer of Brazilian soap operas Jorge Amado, or the chronicle of the Portuguese colonial wars Antonio Lobo Antunes. Learning Portuguese not only opens doors to a diverse cultural realm, but can also increase employment prospects, given the growing economy of Brazil, which is the ninth in the world, and also the existence of several emerging markets in Africa where Portuguese is crucial. More than 30 countries offer Portuguese in the academic curriculum of their universities, recognizing its growing importance in the global discourse. Talking about the beauty, importance, and history of Portuguese, I hope you have been as fascinated as I have been by this journey from a small European Iberian nation to becoming a bridge that connects races, generations, and continents. Muito obrigado por nos acompanhar nesta celebração do português. Conto com você para que nos siga, se inscreva no canal e faça comentários aqui embaixo. Até a próxima! Música